Ermagerd! It's time for a question and answer video coming at you in three, two, one. Hey guys, so I wanted to do a question and answer video. Unfortunately, I don't have enough Twitter followers yet to actually get enough questions to do a video. I decided I'm going to use my phone and I went to randomquestions.net and so I'm going to pick through a couple of these and just answer some random questions that have been asked on here, I guess. How nervous are you when you ask someone out? Well, to be honest, um, I'm not very good at asking people out. Um, I get really embarrassed and nervous, and uh, so yeah, I guess I get really nervous. Um, I tend not to use the phrase, will you go out with me, or like specifically ask somebody out on a date. Um, I'm more the kind of person who's a little subtler about it, and so I'll ask you to go out to dinner, and like we'll hang out and have coffee a few times, and then eventually we just end up having to talk about are we boyfriends or not. Would you give a homeless person CPR if they were dying? Actually, yes, yes I would. Um, I'm actually CPR certified. I went through the training. I have my little card that says that I know how to do it. So yeah, in fact, if I saw somebody who was in cardiac distress, I would give them CPR. What is the first thing you think about when you wake up in the morning? Oh shit, what time is it? What is something about you that most people don't know? Hmm. Most of my friends know almost everything about me, so that one is kind of hard. If you know me well enough, you know that one of the things I don't like is peanut butter. I don't like, um, Reese's peanut butter cups or any candy that has peanut butter in it. Like, it's not one of my favorite things. If it's used as an ingredient in something, that doesn't bother me, but like a peanut butter and jelly sandwich, like, I'm okay if you leave the peanut butter, butter off and just give me a jelly sandwich. What kind of old person do you want to grow up to become? I wanna be the crazy old guy at the nursing home that like, doesn't have any clue what's going on or thinks it's still whatever world war. Uh, I wanted to be the guy that slapped nurses on the ass and like joking around with um, the residents. Like when I worked in assisted living, I had a few select favorites, and they were always the ones who made people laugh or um, were just generally a good time to be around. Like I don't want to be one of those stingy old people or the ones that you know don't like to have visitors or don't like to visit or they lock themselves in their room all the time. That's not who I want to be. Like, I'm kind of a socialite, and I would love um, to be that kind of old person that makes the staff enjoy coming to work every day. Are you a starter or a finisher? I am definitely a finisher. Like, I have a hard time getting anything started ever, um, or I start projects and I burn out really easy. So, for me, it's kind of nice to have somebody come to me with um, that needs help with a project they've already started because most of the time I can look at that and I see their vision and I can figure out how to improve on it but when I start having to come up with ideas of my own I kind of shut down. If you could learn to do anything what would it be? I would love to learn to speak Russian like that just sounds like a fun language. What was the worst punishment you had when you were a child? Getting grounded. I didn't get grounded very often, um, but it was kind of always a big deal to me, and honestly, my parents never had to do anything beyond that. Like, I never got my car taken away or um, anything, like, super, super serious. i just get, you know, grounded, which was, like, for a couple days, if that. It was never, I never, I was a good kid. Like, I didn't get in trouble very often. What is the best thing about your life right now? Well. Um, I'm moving, so that's not really, I mean, it's an exciting thing that I'm looking forward to doing, um, but not the best thing. I would have to say the best thing in my life right now is my dog, because he's, um, you know, he's there for me every day when I get home from work, he's somebody to cuddle with, and, you know, I don't have to worry about him, like, running off with, like, another dog, 
or bring a bunch of friends home for dinner. Like, he's pretty predictable, and he's just happy to have me around. What is the last thing you watched on TV? Star Trek Voyager, uh, season three, episode 18. Without looking, guess what time it is. I'm gonna say it's about 12.30 in the morning. Okay, it's 12.27, so pretty close. <laughs> now look at the clock, what is the actual time? 12.27. What time is bedtime? Uh, whatever time I want. That's one of the perks of being an adult. So I think that's enough questions and answers for this episode. Thank you for watching. Make sure that you like and or subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Um, I'll be posting more videos soon, I hope. Um, also, make sure that you follow me on Instagram, Twitter, um, all of the social media things. And send me some questions if you guys have any questions about um, me or my life or my dog or anything because I am looking at doing more of these question and answer videos soon and if I don't have any questions that makes it kind of difficult to give you guys some answers. So thanks for watching. We'll look forward to seeing you next time.